what you're looking at now is probably what you'd recognize as a Raspberry Pi. And in this case, it's a Raspberry Pi 3. With some cool stuff attached, so this uh, ribbon cable, it's an old floppy IE cable, and then this cool adapter, which plugs into the breadboard for doing uh, switching and playing with circuitry. Now this has Android Things, uh, Dev Preview 4 running on it. It's currently not programmed to do anything because I didn't back up my code like I'm an idiot. But this is from when I was playing with Android Things when it came out, and this is one of the kits and some stuff I got with it. And it was amazing. However, something awesome just happened a few days ago at work. So I'm going to take this away and I'm going to show you something. I ended up with one of these. Now this is the Pico Pro Maker Kit for Android Things. And how I came to get one of these was, these were given out at Google I.O. this year. If you completed two of the code labs uh, for Android Things, you got one of these for free. So, I wasn't at I.O. I made, mentioned that in my last video. How did I end up with and made Android Things kit? Well, what happened was, I was called over in work, and um, one of my co-workers called me over who was at I.O. They had gotten one and they apparently didn't either didn't want it or they didn't need it or maybe they had a duplicate. Anyway, I got given this and damn is it cool looking. I haven't actually had a chance to set it up yet, but I want to give you an overview of what's actually inside this box. So the first thing is this is the what's the board called again? The Pico IAMX7 development board. Okay? So this isn't a Raspberry Pi, it's basically very similar. It's slightly more expensive and a little bit more powerful. I'm not too sure on the specs. However, if I just earth myself here quickly. And in case you're wondering, when I earth myself, I touch the uh, water pipe of radiator. It's going through the central heating here, which helps a lot. So anyway, let's take a look at this bad boy. So this is the kit um, here. So here we have the main board, which has our 40 pin GPIO. It's USB-C power, which is cool, and it did come with a USB-C cable. It also came with a Wi-Fi antenna, which connects here. So I'm assuming this is our Wi-Fi chip and this is our CPU. Now we've got some sort of bus down here. I'm not sure exactly what all these have. I haven't done much Googling. Um, one thing I've noticed, actually it doesn't have a HDMI port. It has a USB port, micro USB for power. I'm assuming then USB-C is probably power and this is probably data. Honestly, I'm not sure. Anyway, and a USB port and an Ethernet port. I'll do a full video on this in the future, but that's one cool part of this. But let's move on to the really cool stuff. And just put that aside. So obviously it comes with a USB-C cable, which I haven't actually unpacked yet, so I have a couple of those. So this is cool here, right? This is the rainbow hat for Android things. So this is a development board, which I'm actually holding upside down. So how, there we go. So this is the rainbow hat. And this is awesome. So basically these are three capacitive buttons. This is a, a character LCD with four, a four, zero, a four one character LCD, four, four rows, one column, or four columns, one row. It has, Seven LEDs, which you can RGB LEDs, which you can control using PWM controls, and it has the GPIO of about half the GPIO left. And what you do is you take your Android things and you connect it straight onto the header like so. Okay. Now this plugs onto the Raspberry Pi as well. I'm not going to plug it on properly, and you leave it there like that. And this allows you to do uh, dev work. So it allows you to learn how the GPIO works. But there's a library for Android things that you can you can add to your project and allows you to control this easily. So you can say like, on a button clicked, and then when you tap this, it works. And it's amazing. Uh, it's, it's a really cool bit of kit to learn how this kind of stuff works. Because when I was playing around with this, I had to manually wire up buttons and stuff, and I had to learn about um, bounce back and all that jazz. It also comes with something. This requires a, a ribbon cable. Anyway, I haven't figured out what that is. Uh, these are just screws for mounting the Raspberry Pi uh, hat on this. This is a little data cable, a little ribbon cable, which I'm assuming by its size plugs in here. 
But now we get to the cool part. Now we get to the really fun bit. This. And we've got a little cable here for it as well. That's a power cable. It is a 5 inch capacitive multi touch display. So we'll just take it out of its packet here. And there she is. Now, it has a protective film. This is awesome. So hang on a minute. Okay, no, sorry, this ribbon cable here plugs in here, obviously. And then this power get its power from here, I'm assuming. So you connect that up like so, and you have a little, basically a little Android device. And this is full touch screen and should work with Android directly. Well, that's my hope. So you can basically build for about hundred quid, little Internet of Things devices for your home that hopefully are as terrible and full of security holes like most Internet of Things devices. So my plan for this is probably I'm going to end up uh, building a server monitor for my home uh, server. So I'll probably have this like mounted on the side of the cabinet so I can monitor all the servers, what's up, what's down. Maybe make a REST API or something. Uh, one thing I want to do I want to build in the future is a little back in this box. One thing I do want to build in the future is get a character LCD for the Raspberry Pi. Um, well, they work with anything that can input output data and have like a little sign that says internet status up or down so I can view that. So it'll ping the internet every so often and update its status. I think that'd be a cool little project to build. So yeah, that is what is essentially one of the coolest things I've ever gotten and is an amazing kit for anyone trying to learn how to build this kind of stuff. It is going to be a great learning tool uh, for schools, for engineers, for just people who want to get into building their own hardware and then controlling it with software. And because, I'm assuming, because you're watching my channel, you know some Android, it makes the, uh, the learning curve much easier. You can get straight into the hardware and not have to deal with all the learning how Python and all that kind of crap as well on top of it. So this looks like it's going to be a great piece of kit. And I look forward to building awesome things in the future with it.